Good morning, Sacred Heart. Today is Monday, May the 2nd. We have a late bus running today, Wednesday, and Thursday. It is 9 degrees today and cloudy, and it will be raining tomorrow. Please stand for O Canada and morning prayer. Our home and native land True patriot love In all thy sons command With glowing hearts we see thee rise The true north strong and free From far Stand on guard for Thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for Thee. Oh, Canada, we stand. Sacred Heart and Happy Monday. This week is also Catholic Education Week and our theme for today is called Rediscover. These past two years have been a challenge to everyone. It has been harder on some than others and in these days when we may begin to see the end of this challenging time we are called to work hard to build back community. God's people are resilient and many have served others to get us all through this. When people come together to sing it builds community. When people come together to learn, it builds community. When we come together in faith, it builds community. We don't have to look far to find a supportive community. Let's rediscover the gift of community, one of God's most precious gifts. Today's reading is from the Gospel of Luke. Or suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one. Doesn't she have a lamp, sweep the house and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost coin. In the same way I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What does the woman do when she finds her coin? She celebrates with her community. Let us all take the time to rediscover the gift of community, not on a screen, but face to face. May we all find new ways of contributing to our community through caring and service. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of all people, you bless us with the gift of community, where we find your love in each other. Bless all of the communities in which we live and move, and help us to rediscover how to bring your love to all we meet. Amen. Sacred Heart, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, Sacred Hearts. Happy Monday to everybody, and welcome to the month of May. As Mrs. Legacy noted, it is Catholic Education Week, uh, which we are celebrating all week. Very lucky and fortunate to have Catholic education in the province of Ontario, and we're so happy that we have so many great Catholic high school students here uh, with us at Sacred Hearts. It's also Mental Health Week, so Ms. Shields and us Ms. Shields and I, are, we're up here this morning to talk a little bit about that as well. 
Good morning, Sacred Heart. Um, again, we're very lucky to be celebrating with Catholic Education Week, our Mental Health Awareness Week. Mental health is part of every day, but this week we just get to celebrate it. The theme for this week is empathy. I can relate. So whenever you say that to a friend or in a conversation, you are actually showing empathy. So this week, as you do that and recognize it, I hope that you're able to really think about what your definition of empathy is, not only for others, but for yourself as well. And I know that we will be showing a video this morning for Brene Brown. Have a look at it, enjoy it. And I also want to draw your attention to um, our calendars for the Action for Happiness. Today it's really looking at what you do well and not to focus on what you don't. So look at the positive today, make sure that you're relating to others and showing your empathy. Thanks, Ms. Shields. Today's video on empathy, as Ms. Shields mentioned, is from Brene Brown. It's very short, uh, but very powerful, and a, a great, it's a great tool uh, for all of us to put ourselves other people's shoes and later on this week we'll talk about self-care as well in terms of us all taking care of ourselves in order to be the best that we can be every day. So with that said we hope everybody has a great Catholic Education Week and a great Mental Health Week and uh, have a great Monday everyone. So what is empathy? And why is it very different than sympathy? Empathy fuels connection. Sympathy drives disconnection. Empathy, it's a, it, very interesting. Teresa Wiseman is a nursing scholar who studied professions, very diverse professions where empathy is relevant and came up with four qualities of empathy. Perspective taking, the ability to take the perspective of another person or, or recognize their perspective as their truth. Staying out of judgment, not easy when you enjoy it as much as most of us do. <laughs> Recognizing emotion in other people and then communicating that. Empathy is feeling with people. And to me, I always think of empathy as this kind of sacred space when someone's kind of in a deep hole and they shout out from the bottom and they say, I'm stuck, it's dark, I'm overwhelmed. And then we look and we say, hey, you climb down. I know what it's like down here, and you're not alone. Sympathy is, ooh, <laughs> it's bad, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, no, you want a sandwich? <laughs> um, empathy is a choice, and it's a vulnerable choice, because in order to connect with you, I have to connect with something in myself that knows that feeling. Rarely, if ever, does an empathic response begin with at least. I had a, yeah. And we do it all the time. Because you know what? Someone just shared something with us that's incredibly painful, and we're trying to silver lining it. I don't think that's a verb, but I'm using it as one. We're trying to put the silver lining around it. So I had a miscarriage. Oh, at least you know you can get pregnant. I think my marriage is falling apart. At least you have a marriage. <laughs> John's getting kicked out of school. At least Sarah is an A student. But one of the things we do sometimes in the face of very difficult conversations is we try to make things better. If I share something with you that's very difficult, I'd rather you say, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just so glad you told me. Because the truth is, rarely can a response make something better. What makes something better is connection. G'day, Sacred Heart! There's a track and field meeting at lunch tomorrow for the BAA sign up. See Ben Chat for updated practices. May is Asian Heritage Month. The BIPOCs and allies will be uh, partnering with the Japanese club this week in honor of the Japan, Japan's National Children's Day. Children's Day in Japan happens on May 5th. Come celebrate this event with us on Wednesday, May 4th at lunchtime in room S108. The BIPOCs and allies and the Japanese club students will be creating a tra traditional Japanese kaboro a fish kit kite made of crafting materials. That's this Wednesday, May 4th, at lunch in room S108. Hope to see you there. 
And Miss Wagner would like us to remind every student to compute Chromebook in because there's only 10 in resource and there's some missing. So please start bringing your Chromebook in. And happy birthday on the Saturday, which is the last day of April, to Dylan Gunno. Happy birthday yesterday to Jamie Lynn Patterson and Joseph, sorry if I mess up your name, Joseph Weirsing. Happy birthday today to Matisse Dubé, Mitchell Hackett, and Emma Thompson. Have a good day, Sacred Heart.